Bull or bear? Let's see what it is for Wednesday. Oh, there was a bear last night too. And the coin was wrong. Kind of opened up, uh, certainly not a bear this morning. <laughs> we'll get to that in a little bit here. Meanwhile, what a beautiful evening here in Key West. Looks like a, uh, uh, they got a concert going on in front of Sloppy Joe's. And uh, this is the live video here. Um, kind of, I presume it looks like a, a country singer or something like that. Not quite sure. A couple cowboy hats out there. And uh, lots of tourists in a beautiful evening. Probably like 80 degrees down there because it's pretty warm here. Uh, today, not our typical uh, or typical the, the weather that we hope for here in South Florida, 72 to 74 degrees. Uh, well, anyways, not this is not a travel channel. This is not a channel about weather. Uh, my channel is all about gold, silver, and platinum. But I always love to showcase uh, uh, our, you know, South Florida. You know where we live here. Uh, where, oh well, where a lot of my customers live and I live, and I like to share it with you guys that don't live here as well because it's a cool place. Well, anyways. <clears throat> Let's get into today's quote of the day. Very self-explanatory. I, I, I could find myself really going into detail how this applies to our lives in so many different ways, and more than likely I am going to for a moment. Uh, but if it can be destroyed by the truth, it deserves to be destroyed by the truth. This is by Carl Sagan. You know, a very, you know, my generation uh, and our generation, I should say, a lot of you folks that listen to me and uh, even you younger folks out there, Carl Sagan was a, a pretty darn smart dude and he actually looked at the universe in a whole different way and made many people uh, 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 through his uh, uh, books and uh, television appearances and the uh, TV shows that he did, including myself, view the world from a different perspective. Um, <clears throat> well, anyway, from, you know, a universal perspective, not a global perspective, but uh, that's a whole different thing. Carl, Carl Sagan was absolutely uh, uh, right about this, and as a scientist, he knew that you know bad science or or politically correct science could really you know screw things up. It's not the truth, and that if it's not the truth, it deserves to be destroyed by the truth, and the truth will always destroy lies, no matter how you. That applies to the economic lies that we see today. That applies to the political lies that we see today. It, it applies to lies everywhere in our life, whether it's uh, close family, friends, you know, because remember, you know, <laughs> lies is just part of humanity. It's just kind of, you know, what we have out there. And uh, uh, But you have to realize when you get most disappointed about the lies, when you're surrounded by lies, and we talked about this last night in last night's video, uh, that ultimately it will be destroyed by the truth. Just don't get disappointed and be one of those people that uh, uh, help it get destroyed by the truth. Does that make much sense? All right, I don't get into too much stuff here. You get a little uh, off the beaten uh, path here. What has it got to do with the price of gold, silver, and platinum? Well, in uncertain times, in times of lies and deceit, in times of uh, a declining empire, uh, and that's kind of what we're seeing right now, the decline of an, another empire, our empire, the United States. You know, we've been an empire for a couple hundred years now. What did Rome last for, 250 years at its greatest? Uh, we're getting up into that point right there as well, I believe. I'm not a historian, but, uh, you know, all empires collapse over some pretty, you know, obvious reasons that we should know. You should learn from history, and unfortunately our economic leaders and our political leaders haven't learned anything. I don't think any of them took a history class, in fact. And if they did, <clears throat> uh, they're purposely doing this. Uh, we just witnessed an economic sign that hasn't happened since the peak of the Great Depression in 1932. Good article you can read for free on uh, Zero Hedge here. Uh, authored by Michael Snyder via the Economic Collapse blog, of course. Well, uh, who else would spot these kind of things but a guy that writes for the Economic Collapse blog? But really good article. I want to throw a few kudos here uh, that he brings up uh, something that's uh, uh, very important here, uh, which uh, economic conditions are much worse than you're being told. I, I think we all know that. Anybody that watches my videos know that I believe that, and I think you do as well. Uh, throughout the past year, prices have been rising much faster than most of our incomes has. As a result, our standard of living has been rapidly declining. You know, of course it has. Eight, you know, eggs are what, five, six, seven, eight bucks a, a dozen now. I mean, that, food across the board, eggs are just an easy example to pick on. Uh, but it has become uh, increasingly difficult for U.S. households to make it from month to month. And most of you folks out there that buy silver, stack silver, hold silver, 
You know, uh, we're, we're fortunate people. You know, I mean, you own precious metals out there. You're, we're, you know, you're fortunate because there's a lot of people out there that don't have a pot to piss in and they're living paycheck to paycheck. And I'm sure, you know, all of you that, that are in the working class have somebody that you know that's in that pro situation. Nobody wants to be in that situation. But consider yourself fortunate if you own precious metals because you own a lot more than some people out there living check to check and uh, barely living. But I, I digress here. Um, as it says here, and as you see, more than a third of U.S. all U.S. adults are actually relying on their parents to pay at least some of their bills at this point. But even more alarming, and again, this is something we talk about in my videos all the time, is that this next generation is kind of screwed in so many different ways. Uh, uh, <clears throat> you know, home affordability, uh, not having good jobs, not having uh, proper educations and uh, but anyway let me move along here again that's a whole different subject but even more alarming is what's happening to real disposable income this is why I brought up this article according to Fox Business uh, like them hate them or whatever uh, the most recent GDP report uh, real, revealed that the decline in disposable income that we witnessed in 2022 was the largest that has been measured since 1932 the most troubling information of GDP report is the precipitous drop in real disposable income, which fell over $1 trillion in 2022. Uh, uh, I'm not going to read this whole article for you. You know, I always say that I don't like to call this stuff homework, I, you know, it, but I, it's highly, I recommend reading. I recommend that you read this article. Uh, you can read it for free on uh, uh, Zero Hedge. We just witnessed an economic sign. Uh, again, just cut and paste that or uh, copy that into your browser and type in Zero Hedge. And this article should pop up, and most of you guys read this stuff anyway. Uh, so you probably read it before I did. If so, just fast forward here. You know where we're going with this. Uh, cardboard box demand plunges at rate, uh, rates unseen since the Great Recession. Uh, and another thing is, uh, uh, you know, shipping. You know, shipping relies on cardboard boxes. And this article brings up a uh, very, uh, by Freight Waves, obviously somebody that uh, uh, writes about uh, freight <laughs> and uh, probably knows what they're talking about. But uh, uh, the uh, packaging and boxing demand has gone down dramatically. And why is that? Because uh, uh, people aren't ordering as many products as they were, but stuff is not getting boxed up. Therefore, of course, what would be, what, what, there would be a decline in the amount of people boxes that people order to ship stuff out and uh, that's kind of a sign of the economy that we're looking at right now uh, decent article again in ZH you can read that but I think really the headline I'm not I'm not saying don't read it but the headline pretty much says it all in this article right here uh, and another superb superb article uh, I could just get into this and read this too and as you can see it goes on and on and on uh, again not uh, uh, <clears throat> suggested reading for sure. Definitely read this. It's called Hedges. Uh, Ukraine, comma, the war that went wrong. Superb article. It's written by uh, Chris Hedges via the uh, Chris Hedges uh, Report Substack. Don't know who the guy is. Maybe I've read his stuff before, but uh, spot on correct. And uh, it talks about, We. I mean, we know this. We know exactly why this was started to support uh, the war for this right designed to degrade this particular country right here and drive this particular person from power uh, so on so on uh, but again can't stress enough why I think you should read this and he, he gets into the start of here and the the, the end of this article uh, again talks about the Empire the Roman Empire and how long the Roman Empire lasted for uh, there's a lot of parallels that we're looking at here no no Empire uh, has lasted more than what two or three hundred years I think Rome at its height was what 200 250 thousand years it might even get into it in this article right here but it, it talks about empires in terminal decline uh, that leap from one military fiasco to a next sound familiar yes it does again I highly recommend you guys read this article uh, uh, you can pause the uh, video right now and just type that into your browser uh, but uh, definitely worth the read after you're done working. I found it to be very uh, interesting because it reminds me, you know, the symptoms of a declining empire, the symptoms of a failing fiat currency, the symptoms of a failing society, the symptoms of a failing economy, the symptoms of a failing political system, all just kind of tie in uh, to uh, 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 history. I mean, look, uh, all empires decline in, in very similar ways. And again, war. War is one of the big ones right there. Uh, good article. Again, highly recommend uh, that you guys read that. 
Uh, meanwhile, why am I talking about all this stuff? Why am I talking about wars? Why am I talking about uh, 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 political lies, economic lies, uh, cardboard box demand plunging, uh, uh, economic signs uh, like real disposable income going down dramatically? Why? Because there's one thing in 5,000 years that's, that's outlived uh, uh, empires, outlived fiat currencies, outlived all these political idiots, whether they were in Rome or whether in the U.S. today, uh, outlived, again, failing empires, economics, uh, e economies, uh, moral values of society. Uh, what, what has survived? Gold. Gold and silver survived. It's outlived all these things. This is why I uh, uh, bring this up, because really, gold and silver and platinum, you know, gold, silver, I'm not going to talk about platinum, but gold and silver uh, have been around for 5,000 years. I've said it so many times, uh, uh, and again, you can repeat that phrase yourself. Uh, and it's not, you're never going to wake up here when bankrupt or anything like that. It's about wealth preservation. It's not about getting rich quick. Uh, of course, uh, 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 you know, there are times when gold and silver can spike. I think silver is particularly way cheaper than it should be because of manipulated crooked reasons in the comics markets uh, that we talk about all the time. Uh, but hey, that just gives you, uh, gives us a great opportunity to buy these metals on the cheap. Uh, again, something we talk about all the time as well. But y you do not look at gold, silver, and platinum as a, uh, a get-rich-quick thing or a way to uh, 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 fund your entire lifestyle, okay? You know how you fund your entire lifestyle? You work hard for it. You use your business. You use your mind. You use, you know, that's what you use to make money to fund your lifestyle. Gold, silver, and platinum uh, are used to... Uh, preserve your wealth because again you spend the first half of your life making it you spend the second half of your life keeping it and I know that's kind of like a uh, standard uh, well okay that's not necessarily entirely true but you get the point with that is that really you should look at gold silver as wealth preservation all right and uh, that's uh, again in these kind of times right here man you know empires failing wars all over the place uh, cardboard box uh, demand falling. I mean, they, uh, oh, say it ain't so. <laughs> uh, uh, God, I seem so gloomy and doomy, you know what I mean? But uh, the writing's on the wall. We've seen it for quite some, uh, for some while, or for a while here. Uh, all of you, including myself, uh, are probably just wondering when the, uh, uh, you know, when the shit hits the fan, more or less. It hasn't seemed to yet, but it seems like it's going to at some point and we're all just waiting for it. All right, uh, I'm gonna get out of here and move into the spot prices today because wow, look at the monkey hammering that happened this morning. I got up uh, not that early, but I was up for, you know, uh, what is that, seven or eight a.m. I, I looked at prices or something like that and silver is nearing that $23 mark. Gold was nearing that $19 mark. Look at the monkey hammering that happened this morning, folks. And really, how, who trades in these early, early markets, the probably overnight markets as well, uh, with anything other than the intent to manipulate these markets around? Uh, these, these markets were probably, these down markets that you're looking right here overnight, look at that platinum below $1,000 last night or early, early this morning were the overnight Globex markets. And uh, the Globex markets are just as cro crooked as the uh, uh, NYMEX uh, New York uh, Crimex markets. You know why? Because Globex is owned by Crimex, the CME group. Uh, and uh, again, that's where a lot of our monkey hammering uh, for years happened. Uh, <clears throat> and then... Uh, uh, in the overnight markets, you know, they usually bang it before uh, 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 the Eastern uh, or the NYMEX uh, markets or any of us are actually awake. Uh, and again, who, who sells large quantities of gold in uh, really uh, uh, soft trading times? You know, it, it, hold on, think about this. You, you think about this. You 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 you, you got to raise a lot of money. So you want to go to a garage. You want to go to a uh, flea market, okay? And this flea market's open seven days a week. And Tuesdays are absolute slowest day. Wednesdays are slowest day. And their busiest days are Saturday and Sunday. And you could go sell your stuff any day you want, but you pick Tuesday purposely. Why would you pick Tuesday? And that's what selling into the overnight markets are like. Why would you, you know, go to the softest, worst marketplace you could to sell large amounts of silver or gold? gold other than the your your sole attempt is just to drive the prices down and that's what we see in these overnight markets pure freaking crookedness tired of talking about it uh where is the uh, gold and silver markets where are these crooked markets right now and when i say crooked yeah they're crooked again 
Of course, the market's rigged, but if you don't play and you can't win, and I, I love it when the, uh, the crooks actually uh, drive these markets down or keep them down at prices that seem like bargain basement levels, which that is what silver is at this level and has been for, silver is a bargain basement level, uh, anything below 50 bucks an ounce in my true opinion, but um, maybe I like silver too much. <laughs> and gold, uh, same thing. I think gold is a bargain, anything below $2,500, $3,000 an ounce, probably even more based on the current fiat situation that we have. Uh, sometimes when you're standing in the middle of the swamp, it's hard to uh, remember that your objective is to drain, you know, when you're in uh, ass deep in alligators, it's hard to remember your objective is to drain the swamp. So <clears throat> maybe, uh, <laughs> well, all right. <sighs> Boy, that's kind of a weird saying right there I threw in the middle of nowhere. Uh, see, it's been a long day. I, <laughs> I got to grab a bite to eat here shortly too as well. Have not had dinner yet. Uh, blood sugar thing probably. Well, anyways, making excuses why I'm rambling along. And let me get into what we're going to talk about tonight, uh, which is good deals, bad deals. What are the good deals? What are the bad deals out there? Nothing has changed too much in that area, folks. I got to tell you, um, you know, as far as commonly trading bullion products right now, uh, still, the most expensive one out there out of the commonly trading products are uh, going to be uh, uh, gold eagles. They're still 112 bucks over. Gold bars are still 70 bucks over. Uh, nothing has changed. The premiums are still pretty low on this stuff. So if you're a buyer or you're still in a position to buy and you want to buy these dips in gold, silver, and platinum, uh, um, uh, you know, great buying opportunities right now in many different ways. Again, if you can hit the dips and uh, the fact that premiums are just really dirt, you know, dirt, dirt cheap to where they have been in the last couple of years on uh, a lot of these products. Uh, so uh, best deal out there is still gold bars at spot plus 70. You shouldn't be paying more of that. And the worst deals out there are probably gold eagles, but they're not such a bad deal at spot plus 112 bucks. That's more or less, uh, what, 42 bucks over a price of a gold bar. But if you're buying 10 gold bars versus 10 platinum eagles and you're paying 42 bucks more, that's $420. So uh, uh, you could buy 10 gold bars uh, for the same price you could buy 10 gold eagles, you could buy 10 gold bars and $420 worth of silver, which would be what? Uh, just shy of uh, 20 ounces. So I, I would think that if you're buying any kind of quantities of gold, uh, that you should take a look at the uh, fact that, you know, why, why do I want to uh, spend $420 more uh, if I'm buying 10 ounces of uh, American eagles when I can buy 10 gold bars, which has the same amount of gold as 10 gold eagles, and buy myself an extra $420 worth of silver. Uh, I hope you know where I'm going with that. Really, buy the cheapest premiums that you can. Uh, Maple Leafs, uh, I think they're in the, uh, well, here, look, I got the sheet right in front of me, damn it. Um, you should not be paying more than spot plus 83 bucks for Maple Leafs. That's four or nine Maple Leafs. If you're getting three nine Maple Leafs for that price, you're, you're paying too much. Uh, three nine Maple Leafs are worth less, folks. Not readily available, but if your dealer's charging the same uh, for triple nine maples as he is for four nine maples, you are paying too much. Kind of taking advantage of you a little bit there. Um, <clears throat> but who am I to say? Uh, what else is a good deal out there? Like I said, Krugerrands are uh, spot plus 85 bucks. You shouldn't be paying more than 85 bucks over KRs. Um, uh, gold, that's pretty much it. There, again, everything across the board, premiums are very reasonable on all, all gold products. Uh, when you consider that gold eagles were like spot plus 200, 225 dollars, maybe even higher at some point in the last couple of years, over a spot at a you know again with silver, gold prices being less, uh, uh, at plus 112 bucks, they're certainly reasonable. Uh, and and I haven't said that about gold eagles in quite some time. Uh, so all gold uh, premiums are quite reasonable at this time. Uh, even the uh, uh, fractional products for you folks out there that want to buy fractional products. Uh, in gold. As far as silver, most expensive thing out there, the worst deal out there is still silver eagles. You know, I, in good conscience, I couldn't tell anyone uh, that you should be paying eight, nine, ten dollars over spot for silver eagles. It's just too much. Uh, and the uh, other interesting thing too is that the uh, uh, spread for silver eagles on the wholesale level, level is pretty wide as well, which tells me that a lot of dealers probably have a lot of uh, uh, silver eagles out there, not selling a lot of them, but are hesitant to lower their selling prices. Uh, meanwhile, a lot of dealers, big majors out there, have dropped their uh, uh, wholesale buy prices for Silver Eagles as well. Big spread on Silver Eagles. Wouldn't recommend them. Uh, uh, however, you know, 
Hmm. Should you sell so now? Again, selling silver eagles to replace it with generic it still wouldn't be a good deal. Be, the spread is just too wide. Uh, what is uh, uh, the best deal out there? Still is uh, 100 ounce bars. I mean, spot plus 260. That's pretty hard to beat. But you know, one ounce bars are very reasonable right now. One I should say bars, but one ounce rounds, generic rounds, at, at uh, spot plus a dollar 85. Just I mean, dollar 85. Spot plus two dollars and 85 cents uh, to three bucks. Uh, in that range. Again, you shouldn't be paying more than that. That seems to be the norm out there. That's what we sell them for in small quantities. Uh, so, you know, same good deals uh, uh, out there as there have been for the last couple of weeks. Same premiums. Not They haven't gone down much, uh, nor have they gone up much either. Uh, I still stay away from 90% because you can buy uh, one ounce rounds for cheaper than you can buy 90% for. Uh, and again, no great reason to buy 90%. Uh, really, there is none. Um, that I can think of. There's other better deals out there when it comes to gold, silver, and platinum. Well, uh, uh, if you're looking to buy gold, silver, and platinum, you live in South Florida, hang on. I'll get to my little advertisement here at the end when I get to this screen right here, show you how to reach me. Uh, again, I advertise to be at Max SDJ and Bullion out there on their prices and the local guys down here as well. Uh, so uh, stick to the end right here, and I'll tell you how to reach me if you want good deals on gold, silver, and platinum. Well, let's get into last night's video, which was uh, silver and gold prices capped. Uh, lots of comments. Ooh, you know what? Uh, I always say I can't get into every comment, and I end up trying to mention everyone's name here. Close your eyes if you get dizzy, because I do. Ready? Oh, man, 79 comments. Uh, boy, more comments than usual as well. Um, thank you, Linda. Appreciate that. Uh, Charles, here I go. I'm going to mention everyone's names. <laughs> uh, you're the man as well, Charles. Uh, Zane, what's up? Uh, the uh, national debt clock with silver and gold, oil at zero. Um, yeah, I haven't looked at the uh, debt clock in quite some time. I'm sure it's just uh, the hands are about to spin off it. Uh, hey, Zane, thanks for commenting. Appreciate that. Johnny Boy Silver, Brian, you're spot on. Great video. Thank you. Uh, and you're spot on as well. Johnny Boy, appreciate that. Hot headed Joe, ha ha, says cheers, Brian. Cheers to you as well, sir. And a uh, quick sip here of. Uh, uh, I'm not even sure what this is, a red blend, but otherwise, it's pretty good. <laughs> Mm. Trader Joe's makes some good wines. Okay, uh, Celeste, what's going on? Um, my hubby looked up table of metals and conductivity, found it interesting that gold is about two times resistive as copper or uh, silver or copper. Uh, we think the reason gold is used for landing pads on most computer chips is because it's non-corrosive. Absolutely true. Um, uh, both silver and copper tarnish, that's true. And you can expose it to air and other substances and who knows what else in outer space. Uh, absolutely why they gold plate a lot of contacts. Uh, when, you, when you know, if you look at the bottom of your iPhone and you see the exterior contacts, they gold plate those because that's the first thing with any kind of liquid and other things that's going to corrode is these contacts uh, that you see. And even the chargers on uh, iPhones have those uh, gold. It appears to be a light gold plating or a light gold leaf that goes over the contacts to prevent them from corroding as well. Uh, so yeah. Corrosion resistance is the one advantage that gold has over silver, but silver has better conductivity, as you point out. Uh, good stuff there, man. Lots to learn here. Uh, Mike P says, I'd love to know how much silver can I buy with the same amount of money, Joe Biden? <laughs> oh, read on, my friend. Read on. Thanks. I appreciate uh, your comments. Silver Mustang says, Brian, appreciate your insight and expertise. Uh, and I appreciate you guys watching. I really do. Uh, I appreciate uh, all you folks that hit that like and subscribe button as well. Please hit that. Uh, Rob F., uh, what's up, dude? Rasputin says zinc is also used to prevent corrosion, the sacrificial metal. Uh, yeah, I do know that because I am a boater, and I do have a boat, and we've got the uh, uh, zinc, uh, oh, gosh, what do they call like these zinc blocks that you put on the back of your boat. And, uh, again, they corrode over time, especially if you keep your boat in water all the time. Uh, but absolutely true. Zinc is used to prevent corrosion, sacrificial metal. Brian Griffin says, uh, FYI, Brian, Constitution Republic. Yeah, you're right. What did I say? A democratic society? Yeah, I'm sure I refer. <laughs> uh, got me on that one. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate the uh, uh, correction there. Uh, 2550. Wow, I did watch that. Yeah, that is a wow. A big block of silver. Uh, how much uh, debt uh, most Americans own versus what they actually save. Uh, again, that was last night's video. I found it very interesting as well. Uh, I shared that with you. I was kind of learning as I went. I didn't read the whole thing. So, you know, as I was reading it, uh, I was reading it to you as well. Uh, I found it just as entertaining. Uh, Zane Underwood says, uh, put the smartphone in a blender and you will discover 33 grams of iron, 
13 grams of silicone, 70 grams of chromium, 900 milligrams of tungsten, 70 milligrams of cobalt, and molybdenum, as well as neodymium and uh, prazodymium. Okay, that's I'm sure I screwed it up. And each phone contains 90 milligrams of silver and 36 milligrams of gold. Thanks, Zane. I appreciate that. Not sure where you found it. If you could post a link, I'd appreciate it. I've been trying to kind of look, I've been looking myself, and I think I put out some erroneous information based on that AI program I was talking to the other night. The AI program told me that there was 15 grams of silver in a, in a cell phone, but when I'm starting to think about that, I'd be surprised if it was. I mean, I kind of don't think so. I think you're closer to right here, 90 milligrams. But I'm wondering where that AI, again, I thought the AI was smarter than me. Obviously not. Uh, but uh, something I'm going to look more into. Thanks, Zane. Appreciate those facts uh, and uh, numbers. Don Freya says, "How long is near? As long as we, the people, allow these." Yeah, absolutely true. There, uh, the uh, oh, <laughs> the oh crap moment is near. Yeah, I think it is with precious metals too. I think the oh crap moment when we see gold and silver just take off are probably near at some point as well. Rick. But, you know, they're trying to cap it, like I talked about last night. They're trying to cap silver at that $24 mark, and they're trying to cap gold at this 1950 mark. And so far, they've been doing it, but uh, it's going to, you know, get out of their control at some point as well. And, uh, again, that's how we get these big rises in these markets, when these, when these idiotic, manipulative uh, uh, dumbasses uh, lose controls, control of these markets. That, that's when things kind of, like, skyrocket, and that's what we're waiting here for. Uh, and, and the other thing we're waiting for is that gold and silver uh, and platinum are just way too cheap. Um, you know, it's only natural that these commodities are going to move into their next level. Uh, and, and people say, well, what do you mean next level? You know, 19 is pretty high right now and silver at 24. Well, at some point you're going to look at $24 silver and $20 silver and $1,800, $1,600, $1,900 gold and platinum at 1000 bucks. Someday you're going to look at that the same way that we looked at gold when it was $1,000 an ounce, gold when it was $500 an ounce, silver when it was 10 silver when it was 5 You're going to look back at these prices that we have right now, uh, and uh, you're going to be at totally different new levels. You're going to say, oh, God, I wish I bought more then. Uh, but remember, wealth preservation, this is not about speculation, folks. It's about, well, we're speculating that, uh, uh, that the uh, uh, fiat currency will fail uh, and that the economic times will eventually fail as well. Uh, and our speculation is more based on uh, history and facts from the past and the data we're seeing right now. But I digress again. Let me move along here. William Fox says, Sam, uh, St. Paul preached two people to sleep. <laughs> Thanks. I know I put people to sleep. I put myself to sleep here. Uh, Benjamin Franklin said, as a government, we need a prayer. That's uh, uh, when forgotten. That's uh, what us was based on. Yeah, Donald. I mean, you know, Benjamin Franklin was a pretty smart dude other than flying kites and lightning storms, uh, but I think he was a smart dude. <laughs> uh, the anxious stacker says, Brian, you're so right. I get tired of the brainwash thinking they have the best intentions for us. And I'm not they don't have the best intentions for us. They don't at all. They want to control us. They want to control you. They want to control me. This is all about control, folks. The world, uh, 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 it's always been about control. Control is all about power. and Power is all about money. And everything is about money. Uh, but anyways, I digress. Uh, and yes, you're absolutely true. Marxism is rampant. This guy's a democracy. Uh, yeah, a lot of things. Uh, and again, that's called, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, oh, my gosh. Uh, when they lie to you over and over and over and over and over. Uh, gaslighting, gaslighting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, this is democracy. It's not democracy. Well, anyways, an another uh, rabbit hole I can jump down to real quick. BJ Stambaugh says, I think I know I enjoy watching your video so much. In my former job, I had the honor of handling things with utmost tact and diplomacy when speaking to those who oppose hearing the truth. Oh, that falls right into what we talked about tonight is that, you know, the truth actually will prevail. Uh, without offending them verbally, I basically master several ways to sell something. <laughs> without actually saying the words, they look back at me and smile and, and never. Uh, oh, I appreciate that. That's kind of pretty cool there, uh, beating them at their own game. Uh, thanks, man. That's really nice stuff to read. Again, I read this a little bit early. I read your comment, uh, BJ, and uh, uh, I just wanted to kind of uh, read it again tonight and let you know that uh, I thought that was funny. Uh, again, thanks for uh, commenting. Tree Three Climber says, I'm still enjoying your exposing there, Tom Fuller. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, that's what we do here. Uh, the truth will prevail. Uh, to uh, tell the truth and shame the devil. Uh, Marsha, 
Um, Marsha, uh, you lost me on the Marsha part, but I did like that, uh, tell the truth and shame the devil. Uh, you talking about Marsha from the uh, Brady Bunch? Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. <laughs> Uh, so you what I know about these. Uh, uh, I'm not that smart, man. Uh, Jason Warner says, great content. Thank you, Jason. Appreciate that. Ned Pork is take a cube of silver and then rent the Lambo for Sunday. That, you know, sometimes when I'm doing these videos, I'm not really thinking. I'm just, woo, as you can tell, I, you know, <laughs> foot and mouth. Or, or, or it comes out before I actually think about what I'm saying. But maybe that's what makes my videos good. Uh, you know, all the mistakes and all the stupid shit that I say sometimes. Uh, thanks, Ned. Appreciate your uh, uh, comment there, and I agree with you. Mag Garino says, great video. Most people don't realize companies collapse and there's an increasing rate of unemployment worldwide. So take it in. Oh, invest. Oh, we know who Mag is. Doggone it, Mag. You, you scamster, you, you crypto scamster. Another one of those bullshit uh, Nigerian ads. Let's just hide that from the channel there. Goodbye, Mag. Uh, uh, F off. Uh, Tracy Barrow says, love when you tie politics, politics and BS to uh, precious metals. Uh, you know, it all kind of tie, it does tie in together. You know, for a while there, I started getting worried that I was getting like too political and speaking my mind too much and stuff. But I realized, you know what, maybe that's why people like me is because I do speak my mind. Uh, and that's just part of who I am as the political and the economic side of it. And I really do believe it all ties into the price of gold and why you want to own gold. It's about wealth preservation. Uh, it has history. Uh, and those are things that are important to me and probably you as well. I uh, never uh, uh, cared much for cars. It cost so much. I'd rather take the silver. Uh, yeah, cars are expensive to keep up. Uh, Welco says, be well as always, and you be well as too. You, you be well too. Uh, Tom uh, uh, Gados says, sorry for the loss. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate that very much. You know, there's two types of uh, uh, folks out there, people that have their parents still and people that have uh, lost their parents. Uh, and, uh, you know, <clears throat> Two, di two different mindsets. All right, I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole either. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate that. Gary says, uh, hey, fish guy, <laughs> fish guy. Thanks for the fish cam. We faithfully watch from West Virginia. Even though we likely will not be purchasing any more gold silver we did for 40 years, we are con uh, we watch for the content. Thanks, Gary. Appreciate that. Uh, and uh, hope uh, things are beautiful up in your neck of the woods. West Virginia is beautiful. I love West Virginia. I uh, used to go to a, uh, a swap meet, a flea market there years ago called... Uh, uh, Hillsville, Virginia. I used to hold it in Hillsville, Virginia. No, not West Virginia. That was in Hillsville, Virginia, actually. But a little town not too far from West Virginia that we used to go to. Giant uh, uh, flea market sw uh, swap kind of deal. Uh, also, I think my father, uh, uh, when we were kids, took us to uh, caves, natural caves that were in West Virginia. I believe uh, West Virginia is known for having some beautiful caves as well. Uh, beautiful country up there, though. Uh, thanks for watching, Gary. Appreciate that. Show Pro, what's up, dude? Haven't seen you in a little bit. Come by the store and uh, say hello when you get a chance. And uh, you're right. Wouldn't want to pay up. A t wouldn't want to pay for the tune-up and oil change in Lamborghini. Uh, I wonder what oil. I I'm guessing. Okay, I'm gonna just guess uh, an oil change on a Lamborghini and a tune-up. Probably twenty-five hundred bucks or so. Tune-up part. Oil is probably five hundred dollars for uh, oil change, <laughs> unless they're gonna pull the motor or something crazy like that. Uh, thanks for watching, Show Pro. Appreciate that. Evers Waste says great breakdown. Thank you. Appreciate that as well. Joe McDonald, uh, seventy-four plus comments. Uh oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need a bigger bottle. Uh, <laughs> uh, Phil Stanton, it was nice to see you on Monday as well. Uh, uh, appreciate uh, you and your wife coming by. It was really, again, a pleasure to meet you. I'm always in awe that people come by to say hello to me and they watch my videos. Uh, and, and even at times a little bit embarrassed by it, you know. So if, if, if you're coming in from out of town and you see me kind of uh, turn a reddish color, yeah, that's why. <laughs> Uh, I oftentimes think I'm here talking to myself, but I know I'm not, you know. But uh, anyway, thanks, Philip. I really appreciate that. Uh, I'm kind of introverted, too. It's kind of weird because I'm an introvert, even though I sound somewhat uh, ex ex extroverted. Uh, Shep calls me Kuzmaniac. You know, there's people in high school that used to call me that. I can't get into the reasons why right now, but uh, thanks, Shep. Uh, and Opia, Opius, uh, Opichus, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Evil has to tell you what they're going to do. It's up to you if you hear them. So keep your ears open uh, uh, on television. Television, television. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, tell lies on uh, that television. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. All you guys, make sure you 
sure you hit that like and uh, subscribe button. I'm going to call it quits right now. So if you're looking to buy gold, silver, and platinum, anywhere from a dollar's worth of any of it to millions of dollars worth, uh, come by our store here in Lauderdale by the Sea, Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals. We're open 10 to 4 Mondays through Fridays. There's our phone number again, 9 to, uh, 10 to 4 Mondays through Fridays. Uh, you can come by and buy whatever you want. We also do rare coins, paper money, and other things as well. If you don't live in South Florida uh, and you're buying uh, more than 100 ounces gold, more than 1,500 ounces silver, we have the ability to do that in the old traditional forms of bank wires and uh, secure forms of uh, shipping. Uh, but we we can't sell smaller amounts. We're not set up like the online guys are, like Atmex, SD, and J and Bullion. Even though we can beat their prices, uh, we're not able to ship small amounts outside our uh, local area here uh, because of that. Anyway, looking to buy any gold, silver, and platinum, you live in South Florida, uh, come by and see us. And if you're looking to buy larger quantities, definitely call us as well. And uh, don't forget, I'm going to be at the Lakeland Collectorama Show, uh, uh, February 16th to the 18th, in Lakeland, Florida, at the RP Funding Center. And go to this website, the Collectorama uh, uh, Collectoramashow.com, to get your free tickets for free admission. Going to be gold, silver, and platinum products out there for you stackers. Uh, also, all kinds of super cool coins and paper money. Uh, and uh, it's easy to get to, man. It's like uh, a couple hours from anywhere in Florida, almost. Well, that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a wonderful evening. And, uh, hey, listen, thanks for putting up for me. <laughs> putting up with me all this time, too, as well. Uh, talk to you tomorrow. Bye now.